All right, guys, we're on Neon, and we're going to try and build the ultimate ship in Starfield. I've learned a lot since my last shipbuilding video where I made a massive battleship, which was really cool. But I've also figured out a lot about how this shipbuilder works, and I think we can make one of the best ships in the game relatively easily. As in, it doesn't have to be too large or complex. I think we can get a huge amount of cargo, a huge amount of weapons, and all the crew capacity that you could ever want. All right, let's talk to the shipbuilder guy and get started. So here I like to start with basically a blank slate and start laying out some of the components I'm going to know I'm going to want on this ship. I do have access to class C components. You should be able to do this with class A components though. Um, I'm learning now that I'm a higher rank. Some of the items are also level gated, I believe. So level 60 might be one of the highest levels you need to hit to start getting access to some of the highest rank stuff. And I'm going to just basically lay out all those high tier components here that I want to cram into this design. If you're doing a class A or a class B build, again, you can follow the exact same principles and just lay out the most powerful components that you have access to. All right, I've got everything laid out here. We've got our grav jive, we've got a massive fuel tank, we've got our generator, our power reactor, that's what it's called. I got a big old engine, which I mostly chose because I thought it looked cool. I'll slap as many of those on there as I think this build needs. And I'm gonna go ahead and start building. I'll put the weapons on last. It doesn't make a lot of sense to lay a whole bunch of weapons right now. I sort of know how the turrets work in this game and we'll talk about that when we get there. All right, so you can see I've gone a little vertical here with the overall design and some of what I'm thinking about right now is trying to create a front heavy weapon platform. So I want to create a, as many guns as I can stick on this thing at a time while minimizing the obstruction of those turrets. They're gonna be auto tracking turrets and I just need as little geometry in the way. So put them all on the front of the ship. Don't worry about what the, is on the back of the ship. Point my ship relatively towards the target and let them go crazy. One of the problems I see with some of the pre-built ships in the game is that they put all these really cool high power turrets on the ships, but a lot of the time those auto turrets can't engage a target on the right side of the ship because it's being blocked by the ship body. So I want to create maximum turret engagement angles uh, on the front of the ship here. So we'll see if we can do that with like this wing unit that I'm sticking on the side here. Okay, we've got a couple of turrets on the ship. These are some of the most powerful like particle beam turrets you can get in the game. And I'm just trying to figure out a way where I can, I need like probably about seven of these, I think in total or more uh, that have as much visibility as possible. So I'm trying to put them on top, but I also want them to be able to engage lower targets. So I'm trying to put the turrets as close to the front of the ship as possible. It's starting to look clunky, but I'm mostly just playing around with shaping right now. And I'll worry about some of the visuals a little bit later, or maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just make this a functional ship and not a pretty ship. I think I've figured out the weapon mounting solution here and I've made the front end look a little bit cooler. We've got these like cones and I can put the turrets on the bottom and I think this will still give us a lot of good visibility. I don't think these cones are gonna obstruct the engagement angles too much. And I'm gonna try and get as many turrets on here as I can, but I'm not actually, I don't think my reactor is gonna be able to power all of them. So we'll scale back as needed and kind of figure out what the optimal weapon complement is. So we're starting to, I think I'm starting to finally figure out the design here. I just cut off a lot of the verticality on the ship. As much as I liked the idea of making the ship more vertical, it just didn't really serve much of a purpose. So maybe I'll come back another day and do like a very vertical homeworldy style ship. But for this one now, we're going for like lean killing machine. And I found this funny little, I don't know if I can just do landing gear down the center of the ship because I haven't figured out a spot to mount them on the engines. But if we can do just central landing gear, which would be kind of funny, I'll, I'll try and do that to save on the weight for the most part. All right, we're actually nearing a fully flight capable ship with this airlock on the top. I think we'll, yeah, we shouldn't have any more errors after this. And yeah, one of the things that drives me crazy about the ship builder is that some of these ship designs take hours and it doesn't let you save the ship unless it's like flight ready. So you have to get rid of the errors and I, that drives me crazy. I think you should be able to save a draft, but now we're just going to kind of like go through the, the final refinement phase before the first test flight. 
All right, we're at the coloring phase of the ship before we take it out for its maiden voyage. I managed to get some actual decent cargo on this thing. It's got like 1,760 units of cargo for a ship this size is ridiculous. I will say that does irk me a little bit. Like, unless the cargo pod is somehow magically opening a parallel universe inside of it, you can't fit more volume inside of a smaller space. So like if you're going to carry a lot of cargo, your ship should look like it can carry a lot of cargo, but whatever. All right, here she is. Max jump range, 30 light years, uh, 1300 hull, 1300 shields, 1700 cargo, maxed out weaponry. I don't think I'm even going to be able to power all the weapons that this ship has. Uh, I kind of want to get this one in the sky and see what it can do. Not exactly the sexiest first viewing of my ship, rainy day. Some of the turrets look like they're actually clipping with the ground, but whatever. It's a cool looking ship. Now, I didn't add like a lot of bays for stations in this thing due to trying to keep the size down, but I could easily be modded if we need it. It should be a pretty simple interior, but honestly that can be pretty nice, especially if you need to get in your ship and do a lot of stuff. You don't want to have to run all over the place, especially now that I built a battleship. Looks like the uh, airlock above us there. And that should, this is like the only room, I think. It's basically the cockpit up here. This should be a bigger cockpit though. I don't know if I've used this one before. Yeah, this is a nice one. Most of the crew will be up here with me. It does look really neat. All right, goodbye rainy neon. Let's see what these uh, takeoff thrusters look like since they're only in the middle of the ship. There we go, that totally looks you know, it could fly. We'll just pretend that there's like little adjusting thrusters on the left and right. There's our three engines. It looks okay. It does look lean. It looks like it could fight. Orbit achieved. All right. It can fly, I'm sure. But uh, the real question is how well are these turrets going to perform? Also put an energy in. I can see. I actually don't know if it's best to like balance all the energy between all the turrets or just like take some of the turrets off the, probably take some of the turrets off the ship and just put all the power into uh, the ones that I do have. But uh, let's see, I got a kill mission, so let's go on that and see how she does. Okay, warping in. And did I just kill him? I didn't even get to see what level he was. Dude, auto turrets are insane. That was over 300 XP. He must have been a pretty decent level. I normally don't get anywhere near that amount. All right, I'm coming up on some Starborn here. Oh, level 72? Okay, these guys could mess me up. Looks like there's a couple of them. Three, I think. All right, I don't know how fast I actually want to come in on these guys. I don't even have the right guy targeted. Okay, he's gone already, wow. Uh, okay. We're laying in some shots here. I'm down to 89 shit. I think we just got all of them. I don't know what's more challenging than three Starborn ships. All right, I've got an idea. I went on the internet and I was like trying to find out how I could fight the like most powerful bad guys. And someone said if you just attack all the ships in orbit around a planet, like they'll all go hostile and they'll like send the whole army after you which sounds challenging. So we're gonna go to the soul system and go shoot at stuff. See what happens. All right, here we are. Is that Earth? The beautiful planet of Earth. All right, let's find a target. Uh, let's guess 32. I've got them locked, but I cannot fire. I can't fire because it's auto turrets. They automatically, oh my God. Does that mean that basically I can't fire auto turrets at a friendly target? <laughs> Sue Framingham does the trick. Come on, buddy. Yeah, turrets can't be fired manually. What the heck? All right, design flaw. I don't know if that's my fault or if it's Starfield's fault for making dumb turrets. We gotta go do a spaceship update, guys. All right, I deleted weapon group one and just replaced it with a single regular particle beam, not the turret kind. I can just give it like one bar of power and use it as like an instigator weapon. And then the rest should go into the rest of the turrets and power them completely. So I think in theory we'll have the same amount of firepower since I was just splitting my reactor power between a bunch of different weapons I mean, before. 
All right, here we go. Game is saved in case we break everything. Is it gonna go hostile? There we go. Uh, are my other turrets gonna fire? Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh God, there's a lot of ships here. I need to keep moving. Okay, that guy died quickly. Yeah, rank up. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be flying away or not. I am taking damage here. Wow, my turrets are like deleting ships and I'm not even aware of it. The thing I don't like about auto turrets is I have no idea what they're shooting at. Like I'm trying to shoot at this guy in front of me. Shoot! Stupid spaceship. They're like trying to engage some other target somewhere. All right, I'm done running. These guys aren't gonna stop chasing me. Let's just yellow it. I'll keep flying backwards though. So they can't fully overtake me. I don't even know what my turrets are aiming at right now. Uh, there's a lot of explosions out there. What the hell? I think we're like, okay. I mean, my shields are going down because I don't think they have time to recharge, but I should be able to just rush these guys. I think my turrets are going to kill them all before they get in any sort of danger range for me. Should be fine. Yeah, that guy just went down. That guy just went down. Wow, that's a lot of XP for that dude. I'll take it. Uh, why am I not shooting this guy? Auto turrets? Maybe there's too much debris in the way. Dude, that's it. There's no more red marks on the radar. Holy crap. All right, I didn't think about this, but my gameplay was on normal. Let's just bump it up very hard. I think Titan will have uh, some sort of army. We got something. Doesn't look as big. Wow, that guy just went down quick. These guys are dropping super fast, even on very hard. I don't know what it actually has changed in very hard. Does it send higher level guys at you or the normal guys tankier? They're getting closer. Dang, that looks cool. Okay, I'm down to 70% shields. <laughs> After blowing up like five ships. Let's see, does it make more sense just to turn around? Probably. Should probably just turn towards anything that's shooting at me. Oh wow, my turrets were like aiming down. Let's see if we can finish this target over here. Oh, there he is. I just have to follow my turrets, man. It doesn't even matter what I'm targeting. That ship looks cool. Dude, the ship destruction in this game does look dope. I love how they break apart. Okay, I'm 34% shields. I'm, there's not nothing. 22% shields, and there's no more red marks. I'm very hard. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. I think, I think we can call this ship design a success. Okay, we're gonna try a different zone, see if I can get higher level ships to spawn or something. Still on very hard difficulty. Wow, I'm already shooting. Like, coming at it. <laughs> They're scanning me! I'm already opening fire. Like, halt! This guy's buffer. Wow, 300 XP, okay. That was a bigger ship. It's like a level. Wow, that guy just came apart. Half of these ships are dying before I even see them. I guess level 36. <laughs> We're just taking them apart. That one's a big one, but not a high level one. Maybe a car container ship or something. Ooh. Look at them come apart. I mean, I feel awful. Oh, I just noticed that all my NPCs are like really upset with me, my crew. They're very upset as my bounty gets higher and higher. I don't care. Kill them all. Look how many ships are here, man. Well, I think we broke Starfield. I think it's safe to say. Oh, I mean, I'm down at 20% shield. Oh, it's climbing back up. Got that guy. As long as I just turn towards where my weapons are firing, I think that's the strategy since I can't really control what they want to shoot at. They seem to just have a mind of their own. Yeah, our shields are going back up because they didn't shoot us for a while there. So we recovered a bunch. 
All right, so I think it's safe to say we broke Starfield. This ship is just ridiculous. I think it would make a lot of sense to, you know, give the most powerful systems in the game much more powerful defenses, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if Starfield's really going for any sort of sim or realism aspect in the space combat. It's very simple, like no skill required to actually win those fights since all the turrets are auto. I was hoping there might be some weapons in the game that like did more damage if you manually fired them, but the turrets are like on par with basically the non-turret versions of the same guns, which is a little disappointing. So who knows, maybe they'll add some DLC or some updates or some stuff. Probably it'll just get modded at some point if people want actually higher skill space combat. There's probably already a high skill space combat mod in the works right now, but there you go, guys. Pretty easy to basically break space combat in Starfield and have a ship that can do everything you want. I've got 4,000 plus cargo on this thing. So, I mean, whatever you need to do with this thing, it can do it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some ideas about making your own types of ships in the future. I don't know how much else I can experiment in Starfield Space Combat. It just seems so simple. But if you got any crazy ideas or things to try next, let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.